Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumiseti. Today we'll see time travel snowflake intro questions. Let us discuss one by one. So question number one, what is time travel? So time travel is nothing but accessing historical data at a particular period of time that has been modified, deleted or dropped by some user. Okay, so you can simply say accessing historical data. So question number two is what? Ways to access time travel. So there are three ways to access time travel. One is by using query ID, other by using offset, another by using time set. By using three ways, we can able to access the historical data. By using query ID, offset, and a timestamp. So third question is that what? So syntax for time travel. Okay, how to access this time travel? So select star from table. It will give the active data. But I want to access the historical data. How can I access? By using before statement, query ID, or by using offset or by using timestamp. So it will give select star from EMP with the latest data, but I want to access the historical data with the help of time travel. That is before statement, query ID, or by using offset or by using timestamp. Same thing. Next question is that what? So what are the session specific tables? Okay, see, temper tables are called as session specific tables. It will be available for the particular session. So data will be available for the particular session. It data will not be available to the other sessions. So next question is that what? So types of tables in Snowflake. There are permanent table, transient table, and temporary tables. These are called Snowflake internal tables. So by default, when you create any table, permanent table will be created. So transient table, temporary table. These are the Snowflake internal tables. So data will be stored inside Snowflake. And next question is that what? How to disable time travel? So suppose like I want some tables to disable the time travel. So how can I put alter table table name set data retention time in days equal to zero? So by default for all the tables it will be one day. So we are disabling with the help of zero. Alter table table name set data retention time in days equal to zero. Next question is that what? Okay, see when fail safe starts. So answer is that what? Once time travels, the data move to the fail safe. So this is available for only permanent tables. Once the time travel ends for the permanent table, the data will move to the fail safe. Uh, next question is that what? How to undrop a table? So suppose like I drop a table by mistake, but I want to restore the table. So by using what parameter? By using undrop command, undrop table. Table name. How to register table by saying undrop table table name. Okay. Next question is that what? What is fail safe period of transient table? So remember, so transient table doesn't have fail safe. The so answer is zero zero because fail safe is not available for transient tables and temporary tables. Next question is that what? So what is default retention time of tables? Okay. So for all like permanent table, transient tables, and temporary tables, so default retention time is what? It is one day, one day. Okay. Same thing. Next question is that what? What is fail safe period of permanent table? So once time travels, data will move to the fail safe. So this is available for only permanent tables. How long it will be? It is available for seven days. Okay. Hope this is clear. So if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.